Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Nanam Paramam Dheyam Knowledge is Supreme Welcome back students, we were looking at approximating any higher order system as a first order plus date time and uh, there are broadly speaking two ways of approximating a higher order system, any higher order system into first order plus date time depends on uh, what information we have about the process. Uh, either we may have the actual plant from which we can generate uh, some data. So, we may have raw data of the output variable as a function of time or we may also have the transfer function representation of the system uh, which is of higher order. So, we will see in both these cases how do we approximate uh, this response as a first order plus date time. So, we will start with uh, the case when we have the actual transfer function between the input and the output. So, what we have is a higher order transfer function. which we want to approximate into first order plus date time model. So, uh, what we are essentially doing is uh, we are converting this as kp over tau s plus 1 e raised to minus td. So, uh, we need three unknowns. What is the ultimate gain? what is this time constant and what is the dead time given uh, the fact that we have the transfer function for this process. So, um, there are two methods uh, of doing this. The first method is based on Taylor series expansion. And the other method is Skogistat's half rule. In both the cases, uh, the notion of Kp is the same. So, Kp is gain between input and output So, uh, for the given transfer function, uh, whatever is the gain between input and output, uh, same uh, gain would get transferred to the final uh, approximate form. The second term is how do we get tau? So, uh, tau as I had said, it is sort of a representation, it is a mathematical entity uh, which just approximates or matches the given response with this approximated model. Uh, it does not have a direct physical significance. Uh, so, when we talk about Taylor series based method, approximation, tau is taken as the dominant time scale of the process. And by dominant we mean the slowest uh, time scale. So, uh, if our process transfer function uh, was uh, something like this, s plus 1, 2s plus 1, all the way up to 5s plus 1, then uh, tau 1 is equal to 1, tau 2 is equal to 2 and tau 5 is equal to 5. So, the slowest uh, mode out of this is coming from this 5, 1 over 5s plus 1. So, in that case, uh, we will be taking tau as 5. So, it is the dominant or the slowest dynamic mode is taken as the time constant or tau. In the case of Skogistad's method,
what we take is tau is taken as dominant time scale plus half of the next dominant one. So, uh, we are not relying only on the slowest time scale, but we are looking at the top two uh, slow time scales of the process. And in that case, uh, for this particular example, uh, what we would be getting is this tau will be equal to 5 plus half of the second slow. So, if it is h plus 1, 2s plus 1, 3s plus 1, 4s plus 1 times 5s plus 1, it will be half of 4. So, in that case, we will get tau is equal to 7. So, that way the tau obtained uh, for the same transfer function by using uh, Taylor series expansion or Squigister's method, they are going to be different. So, the Squigister method will give you higher tau value. And then the last parameter which we want to get is Td, which is the dead time. Uh, so, the way we get the dead time uh, is, uh, let us say if we look at the Taylor series expansion based method. So, we look at uh, the remaining transfer function after we have removed tau. So, in this case, uh, the remaining transfer function was s plus 1, 2s plus 1, 3s plus 1 and 4s plus 1. So, we approximate it as e s to minus t d s. Uh, the way we do it is, uh, uh, we try to write uh, each of these. So, let us say if I take s plus 1, uh, this is approximately equal to e s to power 1 s because if you take Taylor series expansion of a raise to s, it will be 1 plus s plus s square over 2 factorial. So, this is approximately equal to e raise to s, which is equal to e raise to minus s. So, similarly, you can write that 2s plus 1 will approximate to be e raise to minus 2s. So, this entire time, this for this particular example, it will be equal to e raise to minus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 s, which is equal to e raise to minus 10 s. So, your TD will be equal to 10 in this case. So, uh, to get the dead time, you just approximate the remaining transfer function as a Taylor series approximation. In terms of Squigistad's method, uh, we follow the same approximation procedure. Uh, the only difference is uh, this 1 over 4s plus 1 uh, is approximated as uh, e raised to minus 4s. But uh, in terms of calculating tau, uh, we have already used half of this contribution. So, that 2 out of that 4 was taken as tau. So, in this case, uh, the contribution to dead time is also taken as half. So, it will be half of 4. So, it will be 2. So, based on this, uh, the actual TD here will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus half of 4, so which comes out to be 8. So, the dead time in the Squigistas method will be smaller uh, than what you get from the Taylor series approximation. So, uh, for this particular example, so if G s uh, was equal, let us say equal to 1 over s plus 1, 2 s plus 1, 3 s plus 1, 4 s plus 1, 5s plus 1, if this was the transfer function, uh, what we get uh, is gain will be equal to 1 because the gain gets transferred directly. For the Taylor series based approximation, we get 1 over 5s plus 1 e raised to minus 10s and for Squigistad's method, we get 1 over 7s plus 1 e raised to minus 8s. So, both these uh, are approximations uh, for this transfer function and if we plot a step response of this particular transfer function, you can see that uh, the response is shown here. Uh, the green line represents the actual response uh, where the step change was given at time t equal to 10 
and you can see that uh, both these uh, models are approximating the behavior fairly uh, in a, with a good match uh, with uh, you can see that the red line is closer to the real response and that uh, corresponds to the squeegee stats rule so it's a more uh, ex empirical uh, method which was developed by professor squeegee stats and uh, by just taking the second dominant scale and increasing the tau and while reducing the dead time it is able to match the, the response uh, in a much better way next we look at uh, if we don't have a transfer function representation of the process uh, but we have the actual process and how do we come up with this uh, first order plus dead time approximation so in that case what we do uh, is known as step testing of the plant let us say we are interested in the relationship between so we are interested in is output is y and input is u which we are going to represent as first order plus dead time model so what we do is uh, in the given plant we make a step change in u let us say of magnitude a and we record the response of y as a function of time so what we are going to get uh, is a response of this type and when i say yt it is always a deviation variable we give a step change when the plant is at steady state and we record the response uh, as uh, time goes on increasing away from this particular steady state and the typical response uh, what we will get will be of a sigmoidal nature so it will start at zero take some time and then reach the final value so uh, from this response so this response you can record and then from this response uh, we would be able to find the values of kp tau and td so in order to get kp this is the gain of the process so it is the total change in y divided by total change in the input and this is at the final steady state so for this particular example uh, the total change in y is going to be this so the ultimate value is this so the total change in y is this is delta y and delta let us call it as b so uh, the gain in this case will be equal to b over total change in input was a so the kp will be equal to b over a so that way we will be able to get the gain of this process let us now look at how do we get tau and td so let me redraw the same figure again so in order to get tau uh, what we do is uh, we take slope of this uh, sigmoidal response at the inflection point so you we draw a tangent at the inflection point so which is somewhere here so let us say that tangent looks like this so this is the tangent at inflection point and let us say its slope is equal to s so from the first order dynamics uh, lecture uh, you should remember uh, you should recall uh, that uh, the slope of the first order response at time t equal to 0 uh, is given uh, by a k p over tau so we'll use uh, make use of the same uh, relationship so in this case slope is s and a k p is nothing but b so b over tau so we'll write tau as 
b over s so uh, the tau value which we are interested in is equal to the ultimate value of output y uh, divided by the slope of this tangent at the inflection point and then lastly uh, we are in now rem the only thing remaining is the dead time uh, so we take uh, whatever is the intersection of this tangent at time uh, to the time x is so this intersection we take as td so this will be our dead time so if we have the actual process and don't have a transfer function uh, then using this method uh, we would be able to approximate this process as first order plus dead time so this is a very common uh, way of any real plant data uh, would be analyzed uh, or and converted into first order plus dead time model now just uh, i would also like to make a small note uh, that uh, sometimes uh, the order of the system is very high and in that case uh, running a step uh, response and uh, trying to get the final output it takes a very long time so in that case uh, the typical example of this would be uh, let us say if there is some this uh, we are interested in finding the transfer function model uh, between uh, the product purities of the distillation column and the feed composition uh, we had seen this as a motivating example and the order of the system is uh, equal or is of the same order as that of the number of stages so if the column has large number of stages this becomes a high order 20 30 dynamic model and it takes a very long time to settle uh, so the response would typically in such a case if i say xd versus time the response uh, would be so slow uh, that uh, it will take a long time uh, of the step testing uh, to reach the final steady state so in that case uh, most of the time uh, these models would be used uh, to make uh, the initial predictions about how the system responds so what we consider is uh, we just consider the response only up to this point and what we say is it is uh, similar or we approximate it not as a first order plus dead time but we consider that uh, the response is like some dead time followed by a ramp so we approximate this as a ramp rather than a response of a first order process so in that case uh, this is known as a first order plus integrator So it is not a first order lag but it is a purely capacitive process for which the transfer function will be kp over s e raised to minus t b so in this case the only two things which we are interested in is what is the dead time and what is the slope here which would give the value of gain kp so especially this type of approximation is made when the system is really of higher order and uh, it does not reach the final value in a foreseeable or whatever is your prediction horizon so to summarize uh, we have seen that uh, in order to get a higher order process uh, it's typically a series combination of multiple first order system and uh, therefore they are typically over damped and rather than analyzing each of those orders separately uh, we typically convert them or approximate them as first order plus dead time model and that is the model which we will be using to make prediction or design a controller for that particular higher order system and then that FOPDT model can be obtained either as a approximation of the original transfer function which we have generated or it can be obtained from the experimental data or the real plant data so uh, we will stop this lecture here and in the next part of this lecture we will look at uh, the numerator dynamics thank you